Hi, as you can see, this is Acer ES1-711 laptop. Recently, we got power issue, it doesn't turn on. So today, we're gonna check what is the actual fact and why this is not working. So that's the actual seven inch, lap inch laptop. We're gonna check the model number, which is printed at the back, which is ES1-711 series and model known ZYL, okay? So everything seems fine. Physically, uh, nothing wrong I found from the uh, outside. Now let's plug in the charger and connect the charger just to check what is happening honestly. Okay, so as you can see, there is no light indication. So which one gives a kind of uh, little bit idea like. Okay, anyway, let's press the power button. Still, I don't see any light or reflect anything, okay? So we don't know honestly what's going on, but the charger has been tested and charger is absolutely fine. So let's unplug it, open up the laptop, check inside what's going on, and then we can, uh, you know, make an observation. So first, we're gonna remove all the screws, and luckily, every single screws are same inside, so you don't have to organize it, thanks to Acer because of that. Okay, so I'm going to use my automatic screwdriver just to save time and I will forward it faster so the video would be shorter. So all screw has removed already and now we're gonna open up and check there is no more obstacle I think this is very simple to open up so first we need to eject the DVD drive that's the first thing and there is no screw underneath which is great now let's take a flat opening tool and we'll sponger it so it would come out okay so that's the flat opening tool just make a gap and sponger it so it's gonna make kind of cracking noise, which is absolutely fine. Remember, this bottom cover should come out. So the actual motherboard laid on the back of the keyboard, okay? So the bottom part should be come out, not the top part. Because sometimes, some of the easier top part you need to remove, I mean the keyboard one. And this model, everything laid behind the keyboard okay so gently in this part just be careful because a lot of you know like port so obviously the actual plastics are very thin in here so you just need to be a little bit careful this side is absolutely fine there is no obstruction okay so now we're going to lift it up from the left to the right the reason is on the right hand side too many connectors so that's the actual back and as you can see the motherboard is pretty clean so first the charging board physically i don't see any defect this is no loose everything is fine whatever i can see there is no burn sign or broken sign okay so which one gives a kind of expression like the port is fine anyway we're gonna test it okay and then uh we're gonna disconnect the battery first before we attempt anything now We'll try to check the actual charging port if this is okay or not. So now I'm going to check the actual reading of the charging port. Which one showed me 19 volt? I'm sorry, I couldn't bring it to the recording. Okay. So now if the battery gives you, I mean, if the charger or charging port both gives you 19 volt, then you have to focus on the board because nothing wrong on the port so the actual light should come up if there is something wrong which could be silly because i don't see any sort of defect on anything okay so now i know what happened finally we're going to check the actual uh, heat sink under the heat sink if the thermal paste completely dried out that could be another reason like cpu failure believe me or not i fix many laptops with just sort of silly, uh, you know, thermal paste application and, you know, taking out the static electricity from the actual board. It did help and resetting the BIOS, uh, which is quite funny, you know. So let's disconnect it 
and uh, take out the RAM stick than the CMOS battery and the actual main uh, battery which is already disconnected and then we'll take out the heat sink and see if there is any sort of sign okay like overheating issues and stuff okay because you have to focus when you see nothing wrong on the main board I mean with all the MOSFET and everything then that could be the reason the processor failure and stuff okay so let's take this out first before we think anything else and then we'll put it back together and we'll see if there is any indication or not and this time I don't know why they use kind of aluminium instead of brass you know the aluminium couldn't take that much uh, heat out from the actual CPU right not similar as the brass or copper okay so let's uh, uh, take this out three screws secure the actual heat sink and two more screw I mean one more screw from the actual fan I think okay so that is oh my god it's shaking so that's mean there is no paste can you see how easily it came off it shouldn't came off that easily if there is any thermal paste right so this seems completely dried out there is no paste not at all you know which is not a good sign okay hopefully the PC I mean CPU is not burnt out can you see this is like a powder now okay so let's clean this up and then we'll reapply the thermal paste that's the major things we must need to do and similar to HP what I'm going to do I'm make a kind of jumper in between plus and minus uh, to the CMOS battery it did help uh, especially with HP but I don't know but let's try it anyway okay so now I'm gonna clean it and then we'll see what happened next Alright, so thermal page already applied, the fan also cleaned. Now we're gonna put back the RAM first. RAM also clean, there is no defect, I don't see anything. Connected. Uh, CMOS battery. Done. Now let's put the battery in. That's fine. Now we're going to check if there is any indication or not. Okay. So in hardware, if there is not any defect, then definitely it should work. Let's double check. This is the actual indicator. The lights up, which is positive. This light, we never had it before. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this on before I close it back so I can confirm if this is working or not so let's open this up okay so I'm gonna hit the power button the fan is spinning both of the light and also no bootable device which is absolutely fine I'm not worried about it okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close the back cover the power is already fixed everything is fine none of the MOSFET is getting hot and stuff okay let's disconnect it and close it back okay and this one is not connected properly I think fine. 
now we're going to close it back and hopefully that will last honestly that was the easy here but now one thing i'm really uh surprised because even the actual hard drive is connected properly but it says no bootable drive might be that was a kind of you know bios glitch or could be static electricity glitch one of them you know so that was kind of worth it to give it a try like that so what gave me expression to go in that way in that direction first of all when i found the charger is fine and then charging port also gives the right amount of voltage which is 19 point something and then i don't see any sort of defect on the actual motherboard in pcb board there is none of the component is getting overheated or physical defect burn or anything or popped out okay so this sort of scenario gives me a kind of positive thinking then i focused into the actual you know cpu and cmos battery and ram stick i taken out the ram stick i have taken out the cmos battery and then i found the actual as you've seen the cpu was completely dried out that also could be the reason because uh, specifically to tell straight away that's not easy because where is no power when there is no power we don't know nothing we need to go one by one you know it takes little bit of time but this is definitely worth it so today i would say it was a kind of very easy repair and you know quite easy and simple so let me know your one what do you find out if you have the same issues and that is not only for this model it could be for any laptop okay because believe me or not every month the laptop that i received with the power issues most of them get fixed without any major repair without any major repair especially hp and acer you know those two but dell yeah sometimes when there is power issue you know a big kind of a critical repair job but i found always hp and acer they get damaged so quick and to fix it is so fun especially hp so hopefully you did enjoy the video let me know if you have any question regarding this and please if you feel the video is useful like and subscribe it please